Hey there, my name is Luis Cordova. I am the director of the school and I want to say thank you for showing interest in our school. It would be an honor and we would be so happy to teach you in your musical journey. As a reminder, we have a great deal going on, so make sure you reach out to us before we're full. And this class is just a complimentary class for you, so you have something fun to do at home to get that music passion started, to have a fun activity to do where you can actually learn something. So I hope you enjoy your first free class. We're going to learn something super awesome. Hope to hear from you soon. And here is your class. All right. Welcome to your first piano class. Congratulations on taking the leap and trying this out, doing some fun at home. So today um, I'm going to be grabbing the phone. So I'm sorry, but it's a little fumbly, right? But I'm going to do my best to be nice and stable with my hands. So to start off this class, we have two goals. Our goal is to learn quick exercise with your hands, which is going to be really simple, but actually really important and effective for your future technique in the piano and to learn a song, how I said, right? So with that being said, this is the piano that we have here. You can see some of these keys, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and point the camera towards the piano for most of the class so you can see it that way. Let's go ahead and grab this little piano. Ah, beautiful, there it is. So let's go ahead and wipe the camera really quickly on my phone. And now we have a cleaner image, so perfect. As you can see, the piano is a very simple instrument. If you go to the left, you have a lot of notes. If you go to the right, you have a lot of notes. The lower that you press the keys that way to the left, the lower the sound is. The more you press the keys to the right, the higher the sound is. So let me show you that really quickly. Let's turn this on. So watch this. And of course, all of you are probably thinking, hey, isn't there a lot of theory? Isn't there a lot of names of the notes that we need to learn? Yes, but I don't want you to worry about that today. Today, I want to get you playing, right? All the theory and books that we use, that's for another time. Right now, let's just get you playing. So let's go ahead and press here, right? This is middle C, right? Watch, if I go over here, look how much lower it's going to sound. Oh, yeah, down there. And then we come up here and, hey, we hear it up here, right? So, middle, lower, higher. I want you to try that out on your piano. Make sure I'm not lying to you, right? Feel free to pause the video here and test that out. All right, so now let's go ahead and move on. Now that we know that that's higher and that's lower, right? Another thing I want to show you is the exercise for the day. So this exercise is very easy. So as you know, we all have five fingers, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to find middle C. Like I said, there's other notes for the piano. Don't worry about that today. Middle C is very easy to find. Go towards the middle of the piano. Look for the two black keys. So we have three black keys here, right? We have two, three, two. Look for the two black keys in the middle. So you should find them right here, right? I'll give you a second to find those. If you're watching this, I'll give you a second to find those two or pause the video. And then, guess what? C is the first white key to the left. So two black keys and then C. Two black keys, C. So then once you find C here, right? You want to go ahead and put your thumb there, like so. You got your thumb on C, index on the next one, which is actually D, middle on the next one, which is E, ring on the next one, which is F, pinky on the next one, which is G. Alphabetical order, right? So you're probably like, wow, that's easy. Yes, it is. Like I said, I don't want to get too deep into it today, but you got C, D, E, F, G. So the exercise is very simple, but effective. So once I teach it to you, you might say, that's so easy. But guess what? Once you're playing quickly, this technique that you're going to learn is going to be so important. So what you want to do once your hands are positioned is without lifting your fingers, you want to press thumb, index, middle, ring, pinky. For the younger children, this is going to be hard, but not impossible. For adults, it's still going to be kind of hard. So thumb, index, middle, ring, pinky. As you see, none of my other fingers are lifting and then pinky, ring, middle, index, thumb. So what a lot of people do is this. You don't want to do that. You want to leave them down and just go do, 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 do. Don't lift those fingers. And you want to do that about five times up and down. And this is with your right hand. Feel free to pause the video and do that five times here. So now once you do it with your right hand, let's flip over and go with our left hand. So same thing, you want to find middle C right here, but you want to put your pinky there. Pinky, ring, middle, index, right? It's just flip. Now my pinky's here, then ring, and I'm going to do the same thing. Pinky, ring, middle, index, thumb, 
backwards, thumb, index, middle, ring, pinky, and then again, without lifting his finger. So we don't want to see this, right? We don't want to see a crazy hand. We want to see nice and under control all the way up and down, right? So practice that five times with both hands. That exercise is going to be tough, how I mentioned, but it's going to be crucial because your technique when you're playing really fast stuff, you don't want to have sloppy technique and it starts here with this little exercise there. Do it five times on each hand twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. The more the merrier, but I know you're busy. So try to do this as much as you can. So that is your first official exercise for your piano class. So now you can feel free to pause here and do that exercise. If not, let's go ahead and move on to the song. All right, so today I'm going to teach you how to play Happy Birthday. Seems pretty basic, right? But guess what? Playing a song on the piano is my goal today, and you're going to have something to play. It's somebody's birthday today, and that is what you're going to learn how to play, right? So let's start it off. You're going to go back to the basics. You're going to look for middle C, right? Two black keys, and then the first one here. And you're gonna, we're going to use our right hand for this. You're going to put your thumb, and then the other fingers where they go, right? Line. So this is very easy. I want you to pause the video here and go grab a notebook. Go grab a notebook, pause the video, and find a notebook and a pencil, and pause. And you should be back now. So why? Because you're going to write something in this order while you watch the video. So you have your notebook and the pen in hand, right? I want you to write this. Thumb, thumb, index, thumb. Again, and you can, you can, you can use just letters. So T, T, I, T, thumb, thumb, index, thumb, ring, middle, R, M. So we got T, T, I, T, R, M, thumb, thumb, index, thumb, ring, middle. Go ahead and rewind that if you didn't get it. Thumb, thumb, index, thumb, ring, middle. And as you can see, I'm not lifting my hands. I'm not going, right? I'm leaving them down and I'm under control. Thumb, thumb, index, thumb, ring, middle. And the next part is really easy. Write this down. Thumb, thumb, index, thumb, pinky, ring. So, T, T, I, T, P, R. Thumb, thumb, index, thumb, pinky, ring. And that's all we're going to learn today. Because the rest goes, it goes up here. And I don't want you to stress about that. I just want you to learn the beginning today. Get your hands on the piano, right? So, let's try it from the beginning. After my four count. One, two. Three, four, thumb, thumb, index, thumb, ring, middle. Second part, thumb, thumb, index, thumb, pinky, ring. Go ahead and rewind this and practice with me again or practice on your own. And after you pause it, we're going to try it nice and quick. All right, and we're back. Let's try this nice and quick. Don't feel bad if you can't do it quick. This is your first day playing piano. That's what you have practice for, right? So here it goes. Together. One, two, three, four. So now let's sing it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Nice. So that is the song that I wanted you to learn today. You should have written it on your notebook. Practice it, practice it, practice it, and show it to your teacher on the first day of class, right? Very, very important. All right, and I am back on the front-facing cam. So congratulations on learning your first exercise in song on the piano, right? We learned that exercise where you're keeping your fingers down and you're going, thumb, index, right? And then you come back down, and then the next one, without lifting the hands, right? Practice that, very important for your technique. And play happy birthday, it's somebody's birthday today, so feel free to play that song for somebody that is their birthday. You did wonderful today. It was awesome being able to teach you your first piano class. We have wonderful instructors at our school. We have a team of over 600 students, so we would love to teach you as well. Please feel free to reach out to our front desk, or our front desk will also be following up with you. We have an amazing deal. Make sure you take advantage of this deal before we're full. With a team of over 600 students, we stay really booked. So make sure you reach out ASAP. Reach out, reach out now after this video. Let them know, hey, I'm interested. I took my first class and I want to learn. So reach out to them. They can help you sign up. We hope to see you in our school. We have awesome perks like recitals, medals, certificates, and trophies, and all those good things. So hopefully, I see you at our school soon. Congrats on your first piano class. Have a great day.